Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and today I'm going to show you how I mix up my hydroponic fertilizer. I'm going to be using a mixture of master blend, calcium nitrate, and Epsom salt. So first thing I do is I always turn on my electric kettle. You could use either the electric or on the stove, whatever you guys prefer. But you want to start boiling your water first thing. And next thing is you want to figure out exactly how much you want to take off of each one. So first thing is how much water you're going to be using, or in your reservoir. I'm going to be using one gallon. For as the, the measurement to mix up. So for every gallon, you want to use two grams master blend, two grams calcium nitrate, and one gram Epsom salt. That's per gallon again. And sometimes I notice when you have master blend sitting around for a long time as well as calcium nitrate, you can see a little bit better now because the master blend I crushed up already. Um, when you have it sitting around for a long time, it kind of forms together sometimes. So don't throw it away, just kind of crush it up slowly and it's good to use. These things don't go bad so don't throw it away. I bought maybe like a pound of master blend and calcium nitrate about three years ago. I'm still using it today so a little bit goes a very long way considering you use a little amount. Here is exactly how much I'm going to be using for one pound. I'm sorry I mean one gallon of water. So that's right there. So now that the water is boiled this is by far the fastest easiest most efficient way that I found to mix up my fertilizer just pour a little bit of boiling water the hotter the better you don't need a lot just a little bit goes a long way you can see what the color looks like now while it's still nice and hot you want to take a spoon or something you want to mix with give that a very good stir all of the fertilizer of the particles will basically dissolve completely into this concentrated solution which we're going to be adding to the, the container right here and since it's such a small amount of boiling water mixed up with basically a gallon of, of, of cool down water, it's not going to affect uh, the container at all. So you can see that the color completely changed from what it originally looked like. It's this like pasty, almost pale green color. So that's mixed up. And now we're just going to add that to our container. And you can see a little bit is left on the bottom right there, very small amount. So just what you want to do is you don't want to waste it because you want to make sure everything is the correct ratio. Pour the water back in and pour that back in there. Now that that's in there, close this and give it a bit of a shake. Excuse the camera shaking. You, you can see that's mixed up. Now you can see the color completely changed, it's a nice yellow color, so you know the fertilizer is completely mixed in. Now when we look at the bottom, when we lift this thing up, there is absolutely no particles left at the bottom. Nothing shaking, I'm sure all you guys who are using Master Blend, Calcium Nitrate, Epsom Salt, notice that the particles definitely stay at the bottom of the reservoir. It takes maybe like 24 hours for it to completely dissolve. Now it's 100% mixed up, completely evenly distributed, ready to use for your hydroponics endeavors. So let me know if this helps you guys. This is by far the easiest method I have found so far. And ever since I started doing this, I have ready to use nutrients as I need. I don't need to worry about anything. So last thing I like to do, just to show you guys also, is let's test the PPM. That's the parts per million, so you know exactly how much nutrients is in there. So that's on. You can see it's a zero right there. Make sure that thing's in there. And I normally get around like 400, 450, something around that. So you can see right now it's pretty steady at 400, 414. That's perfect for me. That's excellent to use for both leafy greens as well as your plants and your peppers and your cucumbers. So your flowering plants will do great with that as well. A little bit goes a long way and super easy way to mix up your fertilizer. As always, if you guys liked the episode, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Post any messages down below, I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching.